Welcome Bitcoin friends, it's Bitcoin Mamo. Today we're going to compare the Bitcoin cycles. We'll look at 2013, 2017 and 2021 bull run. We'll also look at the Bitcoin dominance, comparing 2017 to 2021. If that sounds interesting, stay tuned and we'll get right into it. The first chart here has got all the Bitcoin data going back from 2010. And we just have the peaks marked out here with these dotted lines. And this is on the two week chart. And I just want to compare where we are currently after this pullback to the 2013 cycle here where we had this mid cycle pullback. And if we look at the RSI here, we can see we got quite high up to a 98 reading. And then we did have this big pullback all the way down to a, around a 56 level. And then we carried on the rest of the bull run. And we topped out here with a lower low on the RSI. Currently we have done a similar thing here. We did get quite high, about a 90 reading. We had this big pullback. The RSI has come all the way back to a 52 level. And I think we are in a similar spot as to the 2013 run here. And I would be looking for this one more run here. And perhaps topping out with a lower RSI. So it could be a good way to look for the peak in this bull run. And by having a lower high on the RSI here, what this did was create a bearish divergence on the two week chart. You can also see the stochastic RSI came all the way down here, basically to a zero reading. And then we climbed back up and topped out around a 98 level. So looking at the current cycle, we did get down to around a seven reading here. And I'll also be watching this RSI when we do get into this oversold zone. So just want to go into the Bitcoin dominance now. So on the top here I have the Bitcoin dominance and down the bottom is the Bitcoin price action. We can see we were all the way up here at a 95 level and when this bull run really started taking off. This was the level here where we broke the previous all time high from 2013 around this $1200 area. And once we broke above that, we saw the dominance starting to come down here. And it did come down from a 90 reading all the way down to a 50% reading. And then we got this sideways action here. And the top of the bull market was when the dominance started dropping again. And we had that massive alt run after the Bitcoin all time high. And looking at the current cycle here, we can see something similar. We can see we broke the all time high here where this crosshair is and not long after that the Bitcoin dominance started coming down. We had a little sideways section here and then we had this bigger drop. We came all the way down to a 40 reading after being at a 74 reading. And comparing these two drops we can see they are very similar. This, this was a 46% drop to the bottom and this one was a 45% drop. And we did get this weekly green candle here. And I think we're doing something similar to this point here. Where the dominance will stay stable and go up slightly. When it does start coming down we'll possibly see the end of the bull run for Bitcoin. And a alt pump at the end. But looking at this point here where we did start getting green weekly candles after this drop. If we look on the price data we can see it's after we had this decent pullback here around a 35 to 40 percent pullback and this was around middle of July in 2017 and I think we're at a similar point in the cycle here we can see we had this big drop it was a 55 percent drop and we did just get this green candle here with the dominance starting to go sideways so I think we're at similar points in the bull cycle here and just to show you that zoomed in a bit more, this is the 2017 area where the dominance started going sideways. And we can see we got that first green candle after the drop and then we started seeing the price going higher again. Until we peaked out here and the Bitcoin dominance started dropping and zoomed in a bit further here just to show it in more detail. And this is the current cycle where we can see the Bitcoin price had this big drop. And then we put in this weekly candle on the Bitcoin dominance. And I do think the price of Bitcoin will start trending up now as the dominance goes sideways. And just to compare that to the previous one again, you can see we had this big drop. And then we put in the green candle on the dominance and the price started going higher. 
So this chart is looking at the percentage gains from the bear market low of the 2017 cycle and the current cycle. And the blue line is the 2017 cycle, the red line is the current cycle. And we can see we were ahead of the 2017 one and we've had this big pullback and now we're pretty much in line with the previous cycle. And just to show you that a bit more zoomed in, we can see we were ahead and we've pulled back. We are pretty much in line with this cycle at the moment. This is on a logarithmic scale, just so we can compare them a bit better. And we can see after that stock market crash, we dipped below the previous cycle. And then we were on track and we went ahead of it. And now we've come back down into the cycle. This chart is comparing 2017 to 2021 again. But this time the percentage gains are starting from the halfening date. We can see on here we've also pulled back when using that as the starting point and we are pretty much in line with the 2017 cycle here. And we can see we also had that pullback here at a similar time using that halfening date as the starting point. And this is the same chart but on the log scale and we can see just how close we are here to the same point as the previous cycle. So this chart is comparing the percentage gains after we broke the previous all-time high. So the starting point is when we broke the previous all-time high, which in this cycle would be when we broke the $20,000 level. And this time I'm comparing 2013 as well as 2017 and the 2021 cycle. And the blue line here is actually the 2013 cycle. This one had the most percentage gains from that starting point. And the 2017 cycle is the red line here and the yellow line is the current cycle. So since breaking the all-time high we can see that the current cycle isn't performing as good as the previous two cycles. The 2017 cycle got ahead of the 2013 cycle but it ended in a shorter amount of time after breaking that all-time high which for the 2017 cycle was when it broke $1,200 and the 2013 cycle was when it broke $32. This is the same chart but on a logarithmic scale and we can just see the data a bit better here and again we can see after this big drop here we have gone below both the previous cycles percentage gains when starting from breaking the all-time high. We can see we were all at the same point here which is quite interesting. It will be interesting to see how this one plays out and where it ends up but we can see we get different graphs depending on our starting point with the data and these were key points in the chart so I thought it was interesting to compare all three of those different ones and I didn't do 2013 on the first two charts I showed you because the gains from the halfening date and the low were so massive that it just shrunk all the other lines representing the other cycles and just a quick update on the pi cycle top indicator I modified. We can see that we have broken below the moving average lines here. And these lines are starting to expand. Which means we're not close to finishing the bull market. As we can see these lines were getting close together. And if we did go up quite quickly here these lines might have crossed. But with this drop we have expanded these lines. And I would be looking for Bitcoin to eventually come back above these lines here. Looking at the 2017 bull run, we did have these drops below the lines, but they pretty much acted as support on these drops. We can see we wicked below here on these ones, but we didn't have quite the same dramatic drop. We can see how these lines did expand a little bit when we did have these drops, and it allowed the run to go for a bit longer before they did cross. But again, I think we're doing something similar to the 2013 run where the 2017 run had these pullbacks more regularly and they were decent pullbacks where this is our first decent pullback. And looking at 2013, we did actually mark both of these tops here when modifying this indicator. So we can't really compare this one to the current one when looking at this indicator because it did put in two tops here. I was trying to modify the indicator again so that we didn't get a cross on this top and only on this one and also the 2017 peak 
and also make it accurate to the day but I'm yet to find a solution that was able to do that but I will keep looking for one so thanks for watching that was something a little bit different hope you enjoyed that analysis comparing the cycles I do still think Bitcoin's going to have a pretty decent jump in the coming weeks and we'll have some more videos out doing some analysis so thanks for watching I'm Bitcoin Mamo see you next time bye